two lines are our jingle we, today. We live again. We live again. Oh, we live on another Sunday, boy. I tell you, bless it. Bless Sunday, Melly been church. Well, we can have church now then. I haven't been to church in over a year. What? Since COVID, I don't go anywhere because I can't wear masks. You, you are uh, something going Clusterphobic. on. Oh, you claustrophobic. Oh, you claustrophobic. Uh, yeah, going on. my I... brain can't sleep too without fresh air for more than 10 minutes at a time. So, but you still have the principle of God. You still have your okay. God is everywhere. He's not confined to the no, church. I thought you were. Since you didn't go to church, God leave you. <laughs> oh, folks, we got some things flying around, but we what flies? Yeah, whatever it is, we mm. we we gonna work this out. We we this under, is the summertime. Yeah, under we're the under the tree. It's hot, you know, and we can try the best of our new setup, and this is gonna be good. You know, our new setup. Melanie, you ready? I'm ready. Melanie, you ready? Oh, what a week we had, eh? Man, this a week. This a week. You know, I had two calls this week, and I had a text and. And people want me to discuss these things. I tell them I can't discuss these type of things. On the, they really? say, why not? Why and you not? say you under the tree. Mm, and you say you're keeping it real, too. Oh, Lord. So, yeah. you have to make a list of the requests. Make a request. So, what? Right. let me ask you. We in Nassau, Bahamas, under the tree. So, you see, some foreign people, they pick us up. They're not... Um, With us, I got to make yeah. sure I say, be in the Bahamas, under the tree. Be the beautifulest place in the world. Most beautiful. You see the sky this morning? Look outside. Folks, you <laughs> I mean, we under outside. the sky. We no, under I the mean canopy. the folks inside the whole suit. Oh, okay. Under the air condition. Go outside wow. and check it. This is a beautiful... Bahamas is a beautiful place to be. And somehow it's becoming a beautiful place to be now in this present. Yeah. Though you didn't go to church. You know, I was thinking that all day, right? I don't even go to church on Sundays, so... That's usually seven, eight, nine, ah. eight. Mm. I, 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 I visit... Sunday, but Rodney Munter Sunday. say the Seventh Day Adventist people cause his wife problems, <laughs> cause problems in marriage. But guess what? You mm. have somebody out there who could say that about every religion and denomination. So, well, sorry, Rodney, you're not alone. Well, well, one of the texts I can go right there. One of the texts was, "What's wrong with your behemoth woman?" Yeah. Yeah. What that mean? You could tell Christ. In other words, y'all. I don't know. You tell me. I actually the question. No, you me. I, I'm a Bahamian woman. So who was asking what's wrong with y'all Bahamian women? A gentleman asked me. So me to ask me, what is wrong with y'all Bahamian woman? So I asked you that. What's wrong with y'all Bahamian woman? Well, we have to find out from the gentleman what he find wrong. He said he can't do. He can't do nothing right. Oh. So what's wrong with y'all? Y'all just. Don't want except. Wow. Now that is interesting because I am sure yeah, you better tell Christ. of all our viewers who are women, they can identify that in our, in the eyes of a man, we can't do nothing right either. No, 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 no. Hold that. Hold that. There, in the eyes of a man, woman makes the world turn. Ha <laughs> ha. So when y'all talking that's face to face or when y'all talking about us amongst the guys. No, when we talking to y'all all the time, <laughs> you tell y'all y'all make the world go round, y'all y'all keep us good. Wow. But, remember, y all, y all, but but he say that don't care what you do, you can't please these women, so y'all must be ungrateful. Eh? No, I he's always, probably I always... he's probably one of those magnets for ungrateful Oh. Difficult and hard to please women. Lord, we ain't have a discussion on that. You ain't gonna say, well, some of well, you. What about you? What has been your experience? What can you um, corroborate his story or his perception? Well, I only, I, hold on, mate. I I can't answer it because I would be judging I've all been, women if I was. I've to been, say. I've been with so many women in my life, and they've been mm -hmm. good to me. Oh, okay. They only is bad to me when they leave me. Okay. <laughs> I can tell Christ this story. Because <laughs> when they leave me, I got pain in my chest and my head. Mm -hmm. So other than that, they've been good to me. Uh, um, so we need to have him as a guest on the show so he could tell us what his complaints are. Well, actually, talking about guests on the show, folks, 
Um, we are bringing on on the show a homosexual who going to tell us his lifestyle. Mm. Um, but we're not revealing his face. Oh, okay. And that's going to be an interesting show. So he's going to wear a mask? No, we can put him behind us with a whole... Petition? Yeah, we're behind us. So oh, okay. We put a curtain. Yeah. And, and he's going to have a... We're going to have a discussion about real time, his lifetime, real time. Um, I don't want to give too much information, mm. but I was going to bring him on this week, this day, but I couldn't figure out the, the logistics in the proper way to okay. do it. Okay. Okay. And so. And you know what? Thinking mm -hmm. about it, thinking about our topic, values and beliefs and mm. relationships, um, that's one of the I know that major. Topic. That's what we were discussing today. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we was talking about relationship with people fooling with dog and cat. What you got? Go <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, man. But Anyhow, if, yeah, if Tony I mean, don't pull a fast one on me, our show don't move forward. So <laughs> the fast one has been pulled, so we're in the gate. So look forward to that show. That's going to be interesting. Um, Very interesting. Mm -hmm. I got his confirmation, so um, Mel gonna do the interview of that one. That'd be interesting, mm. and I uh, see how far that go. Okay. Well, like I say, it's great week, and we can I'm gonna get into our show. But there's something troubling me, not me. Something I won't tell Grace because it's troubling me so much that what what is Melly? What do you think is wrong with our behavior, man? Wow, you see that counter question now? Somebody wants to know what's wrong with the women. Yeah. And Tony wants to know what's wrong with our men. Okay. I could say a number of things. Yeah, see, see, hold stop right there. Mm -hmm. You could tell me about the man, because, but you can't tell me about the woman. Because I can only speak from my you experience. Say that's, but that's living, the woman see, for you. see, see, that's as a woman, woman as a woman, woman, I could say nothing's wrong with Bahamian women. But why you want to talk about him, man? As Bahamian man, as a as a woman who encounter, and I haven't had as many men <laughs> old school, in old my school. life. Coming out old but generally speaking, from my observation, and even within my own family, mm -hmm. I realize that the problem with Bahamian men is they have not had the right role modeling. You think it's a role model? Mm -hmm. They have not had fathers in their home to show them how to be a man, how to but the, interact with women. But they, they had women though. They ain't no man. They had a woman who know it all. No. Yeah, women, you all know it all. Every woman who, in spite of perceiving that they know it all, yeah, know, it all. know that we cannot successfully teach a boy to be a man without the help of a man now if the father isn't there then the uncle the pastor the neighbor the pastor the neighbor coming over for lunch i'm going go, sorry <laughs> so many male figures the teachers because we have male teachers as well that can actually impact. But like everything else, the mother has to be on the ground side by side and working. I, I want to say this wisely. Working wisely. That means she has to really be on top of her game because you have praise in every area that you go Maybe. pray p-r-e-y-s people who literally um take advantage of situations vulnerable situations you have people who do that and so yes women have had their challenges women had the challenges hi karen thank you karen say women had to step in that role yeah Ka 
caring. Woman didn't step in the role. They take the role from the man. Man, right. some of them men wasn't even there from conception. Some they of them don't even know they have a child with this woman. Ru- your old woman is run the man. Now, y'all just go for an overnight hit and run, and the accident happened, and the woman is the one left with no, the bill. No, it's be too... See, the demands from some women is be so great. Man can't take that. He break up running. You know. Well, I could say, I could attest, I think that a lot of Bahamian men mm. are not prepared for the role. They're prepared to be a lover. They're prepared to be boyfriend. They're prepared even to be husband until the family begins. The light bill, the water bill, and the woman, yes, she do her part. And mm. when she feel the man isn't doing his part, yeah, she put pressure on him. And then that's when they break off running to the bar or to the next woman. Yeah, but but most, Karen, I, I believe most men, most, you got some good men. I think some good men. And I think they, I think we have uh, been, um, some of us has been abused a little bit. That's why we disappear. Mm-hmm. And some of us have been given the chance for us to be a man. And and that that was a that's a lot of problem in relationship where woman has to understand that um if you dominate the man too much, this is no place for him to be because he has no role to play in this thing. Again, too, Tony. Mm-hmm. That is a, a, a mm-hmm. that is a valid point. Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. the thing is the woman has seen their mother in the domineering role. But you really... Only the mom is there in the home, like you and I both agree. Yeah, I agree. But you really so, think that men, like Karen saying, men don't like to take responsibility? They don't want to assume that major I don't responsibility. Be, I don't believe so, because if you think about marriages and think about family in the, in mm-hmm. the Bahamas, men has this thing that they love children. So why do a man then leave his home if he loves his child. You know what? That is a very interesting topic because mm-hmm. I have seen men mm-hmm. who leave their home with one child and take up a woman who have six children and that are not their own. That's the point because he find peace, inner peace in that relationship. The relationship where he was probably married or was in can't find peace in the soul. So, See, Tony, you, you have know, to let me be in charge somehow, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But but you know what? Mm-hmm. Do men have a balance between being in charge and being loving? Men do have a balance. See, men in their they're growing up, living in a home, mm-hmm. mother do everything for them. Mm-hmm. So it takes them a period of time in the marriages to assume that role. Okay. Because it because because your father and your mother just do everything. Mm-hmm. They, they, so you But they do the same thing with the girls. Maybe it's the way the boys are raised. No no no. With the girls, the parents make the girl cook, wash the clothes. There we the go. Way, yeah. And what do they make the boy do? They make the boy stay on the computer game. That's why we have a problem today. Ah, so that's what's wrong so with that, the that's man. That's what I'm saying. They don't That's what up. I said. They've they not don't... been the role modeling and the training. To be mm-hmm. responsible, mm-hmm. to take responsibility mm-hmm. for certain things. Right. And then, too, you know, in the home, in the single parent home, mm-hmm. sometimes the rebellious spirit that is within the child, because some children believe the mother is responsible why the father ain't there, and the list goes on. But when the woman could mm-hmm. teach, the girl and instill in her the boy once they become of a certain age adolescence that's basically you talking from a teenager to adulthood but they the woman this conversation. don't let them go and start experimenting sexually with girls because mm-hmm. now they know what their mother is all about in terms of physical yes so that's now they figure, oh, I, I, as a man, I know what it is to be a man. And so 
without the right tools but the wrong mindset they create a disaster a nightmare for the home and their mother but see based on our, our topic relationship mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. also i believe the human woman somehow kind of hard they're not they, you don't lie. They, 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 uh, when you hard, say hard, yeah. they yeah. are determined. Yes. They know what they want yes. and they go after it. And they don't have to, they don't speak. Well, I don't use this word because people take it wrong. Go ahead. They don't, I use the word, I say some mistake. Sensitive? Say, yeah, they don't sensitive to some of the men. Um, well, but, I, I am yeah. going to say, yeah, yeah. I, 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 will, I will admit that many of us, you will see something. have a picture in our head of the man that we want and we try to transport that into the man they're with and not taking consideration of who it is this man really is you don't see i had experience i need to talk about experience mm -hmm. you will know the rough side of behaving woman hmm. nicest <laughs> sorry I can tell you. Why did I not feel that coming? No, I, I, and but guess what? I tell you, I tell you. But I had experience what? the other day. Yeah, uh, yeah. They are rough, and I understand why. They this, are decision makers. Yeah, they but, have lives but, in their hands. I know that, right? But I understand why they are rough because. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I had to say that nicest, right? But because they. They're like always taking charge, you know? Yeah. And so that is so I believe that, they bring that home too. And causes some they don't know when to leave it on the job. I I, I pick it on this. You I mean you mean in terms of being a leader yeah. and making the decisions? Yeah. But guess what? Even non nurses, because I think teachers I think teachers teachers probably too. I think teachers are the most incorrigible group of professionals and women they are always right they and the majority of teachers are females the majority yeah, exactly. of nurses are female in the bahamas so and where are the men but men even you see just how they renounce the leadership in the home they renounce it in community leadership yeah, but, too but mo i i am convinced that no don't get me wrong i don't know but we are Good behaving woman, good decision makers. Listen, right? but, we got the but there's best. a time. Yeah, okay. We got the best. But there's a time. Mm -hmm. There's a time where they should stand down. But no, you know what it behaving, is? Behaving woman seems like they like things done in sequence. Bang, 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 bang. And bang. on time. Right. And but on behaving time. Men don't roll don't like try give for Behaving men don't roll. Like, let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. Let me give Carrie an example of what I'm talking about so she could sponsor it. You will say to me, Honey, hey, you put the screw in the door, the door down, right? And I would say, okay. And I'll go in the room, just come for wait, try and change my clothes, try and get something to eat, trying to get my mind again. Try to compose yourself, yeah. You Unwind will, and all you, that. You, a woman, a woman, will follow you in the bedroom. And ask you and when you're going to do it. Yeah, they want that now. They, they, they don't have no, okay, honey, like, Tomorrow, or give me a chance. Yeah, they want it now, and I think that's caused a lot of problems. And then Bahamian women are so aggressive that Bahamian men sometimes get turned off mm. because they are aggressive. You know, um, I prefer my woman to be nice and humble mm -hmm. and more soft and caring. Mm -hmm. Some other man might prefer the other side, the rough and yeah. humble. But majority of men. They don't want the woman to be roughed them up, man. I think in relationships... Because I can bounce back. It is important for there mm -hmm. to be balance. Mm -hmm. And you have to... Because I feel the woman who doesn't regard where her husband is in terms of his presence um, mm -hmm. and her only desire is for him to fulfill her demands or her needs mm -hmm. at the point in time without first um you know yeah. finding out where he's at especially if but you I just reach want... home and you punks on but but most women are uh, they're not really dominant out the house they're dominant in the house that's the worst thing 
because then you, 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 that, you yeah. Isn't that so with man too? No, 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 no. See, with a man, you can dominate me in the house. And when you dominate me in the house, you send mm-hmm. the wrong signal to the children. Ah. So once you send the wrong signals, you take away my rights to the children. Now, let me explain. By taking away my rights to the children, that means, um, well, watch it. Well, daddy, I ain't listen to you because mommy say. Mm. See, it should be the one voice. And, or the united or voice. united voice, yeah. Yes. But most times, men get dominated. So men get an attitude. This is the word I use now. This word is a key word. They are your children. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I because you, 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 you get beat down, right? So often, and you feel powerless. So right. that's the only thing. They are children. Yeah. So now I start saying they are children. When I start saying they are children, that means, you know what that means, right? What does that mean? Don't What's, bother with me. Yeah. First of all, they are children now. You deal with your children. From now on, you discipline your children because mm. they are children. But you know, it's interesting that you say that because even the strongest of men I believe them nice alone, after too. a while even the strongest of men after a while grow weary of the resistance that yes. they encounter. Yes. But you know what it is? What it is? is not always resistance, you know. It's the woman having an opinion and sorry to say it but it ain't confined to men only. Bahamians do not like discussion. Anytime there is a discussion, they seem to think that the individual is argumentative or they always have to have something to say. But what is a relationship without communication? Well, communication sometimes could be in silence. Stop talking, fool. <laughs> right? You. I, I can look at you and you understand what I'm talking about. Me and you can Yeah, that's side. when you're on the soft side. But mm. if you have to make a decision, if you're disciplining a child, if you uh But this might see see this is our house and you done telling the children I in charge or I'm the leader here. Yeah. And then when I go to deal with the children, you you take away that. Okay, so so there is yeah there is because my observation and I'm sure many other viewers within our platform mm-hmm. would agree that men are soft with their daughters and harsh with their sons because we want them to grow versa. up to be we want them to grow up to be men <clears throat> not excuse mouses. me we want to be a man. You want to stand on two feet. Mm-hmm. The problem I have, that's what I was going on earlier with the relationship. The problem I have in the Bahamas is that Bahamian young men are just getting left because they're lousy. And because the, the mothers they have, I can knock you all now, the mothers they have go soft on them because they love their boys too much. So what you do, you let these dying boys, see, don't get me mad on this now because this, this is my pet peeve. You let those dying boys sit in the house play computer, play on the, the games all day. But you tell the girls, go wash the dishes, go do this, go do this. And you tell them, no, two women can't live in here and all kind of crap. Mm-hmm. But the boys could do all kind of foods. Let me let me give you a good example. I glad, man, listen, this run me. Let me, let me get, let me calm down before I run hard on this. This might talk, this gonna run me hard. Let me give you an example. Today, today, if you look around, there's all the foreign Young children mm-hmm. are working. Mm. Where the Bahamian boys? <clears throat> On the blocks, smoking in the dope home. in the home every day, playing, sleeping till twelve o'clock, stay up all night, four o'clock in the morning. We listen, man. Listen to me, good man. Listen, listen to me, good. I can tell. Cry. This story is real. We got a. We can lose a whole generation. Mm-hmm. I think we've lost a, a whole generation. Our behemoth guys in the age of, I tell you, in the age of 18 to 25, we can lose them. Folks, we lost them. They ain't coming back. If you look around. You sure 25 is the age? I see men as old as 40 
No, but walking no, around I'm talking and with, doing foolishness. I'm yeah, talking yeah, share yeah. foolishness. Bohemian, they ain't grow up yet. The Bahamian man is becoming instinct in the Bahamas. Really? Wait. Folks, you, you okay? Let me let me let me let me see. I like I like I always tell you about my little set. It, I always tell you about my senses. I put these little senses now. Let me give you the little senses how how you figure it out. Mm-hmm. And I go look around. I don't talk nothing. I don't experiment. If you go in the hospital, all the nurses, all the young doctors are women. Mm-hmm. Well, you, no, not all. Okay, majority. Yeah. Okay, majority. You go in the food store. Majority of the cashes, most people work in the food store, are women. You go in school system, most of the teachers. A woman, mm-hmm. female, S- female, female. A woman. You go into mm-hmm. watch mm-hmm. now. You go into the more male-oriented field, which is construction. Majority are foreigners now, mm-hmm. not Bahamian boys. And if you look around, if you're smart enough, majority of the youngest set of People in this country, listen to what I say now. Younger set of people in this country that own a business in this country are not Bahamian young men. They are Haitian descended Bahamians are taking over all the business in this country. Everywhere you go, we are allowing the foreigners to take over all industry if you go into the food store chain and the restaurants chinese so our behaving young men are smoking dope and staying home and find an excuse every day but i can't find a job because you ain't looking for none we in trouble until um parents not mothers now listen to what i say parents that means me and both you so Karen say, who is to blame that these women are achievers? Let me tell you who to blame. I blame <clears throat> the young and old men because there's no way we should allow this to happen to us. I I I, I take responsibility because for me, I, I take responsibility for my two sons, right? If everybody take responsibility for their children, we wouldn't have this happen. And this is gonna the Bahamas is gonna become listen, especially Nassau. Whole world is coming to Nassau. Bahamian men sitting home. You you wanna see something, folks? You ask a Bahamian couple about if they got a home, they will say they will say no to you, right? Mm-hmm. But you know what they want? They say the reason. They say the reason I ain't get a home is because. Listen to what the words they can say. Is because the home is too expensive. No, it ain't too expensive. The host you choosing is expensive. You can't afford. You wanna live above it because you're living for your friends. That's what it is. You need see see. We got this thing all upside down. Anyway, you don't read what Karen says. Recently. Karen say agreed. But of course, as it relates to the handling of the young men, mm-hmm. she said that um, many females are afraid to manhandle their sons. And it's a two-way sword yeah, because agree. men are also afraid to manhandle their sons. Yeah, ag- agreed. But see, see, man charity begins at home. Exactly. Oh. So when exactly. you're small, you got to teach your children and grow them up in the right way. Yes. There's to too, much time, too much time. Too much time. We be love. Responsible. We love our children too much, so we give them everything we want, and then and then we now, one of the things we doing wrong, we keeping our sons, especially our sons, in the house because we're afraid of them with the crime and situations so we're trying to protect them mm. you can't protect them you need to let them get out of there you face it they gotta start getting early and get to face the sunshine and get up and run it i have a problem I, I i talk about this every day everywhere i go check these homes i go in these homes and they all oh, the boys laying down all day what are we doing 
They, see, women can't keep the country, you know. Don't mind how much they can open this door and do this business. Woman, woman, woman only trying to make a living. That's it. It's the man. It's the men in this country who's supposed to be the leaders, who know how to stay, who's supposed to stay this. And we got to get of our backside and get it right. Or else, the Bahamas Stand belongs up and to somebody be counted, else. Eh? The Bahamas can be belongs to somebody else. Stand up and be counted. I, I, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. I, I am so hurt. I, I am so hurt that um, we, we today, we even ain't owning nothing. So directly we can get run around our own country. <laughs> you know? I wouldn't even talk with the politicians because I ain't going there. The color is pretty there. Mm -hmm. I even talk to politicians. I even talk to the politicians. I am. I mean, I even going down that road because I don't want to talk. I never want to talk with them because they don't mean me no good. Nobody no good. So I even <laughs> going down that road. But we got to keep this real. We got to keep this honest and real. And we got to do what we got to do and keep. So maybe, maybe it's mm -hmm. time for us to transition into maybe the values and belief differences that contribute to the relationship and how we raise our children, how we, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so, and, 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 and values, we, we talking mm. about values. Values and beliefs, yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, because they are the things that filter into what our children become. It also filter into how we relate to each other as husband and wife and parents of these children. Yeah, but see, it, 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 it's it's currently that we, we're not building relationships. Like we talked about earlier, our, uh, our topic is based, we have to also build relationships with our children. And build a relationship with our family so, very early yeah very so, early do so, you know tony and and i i think oftentimes we try to instill into our children these things a little too late the age between one and seven are considered the formative years of the child so these are the these are the years that we allow our children to sit back, relax, and we say, oh, they only children. Hi, Tamika. They're only children. But believe you me, they are more than only children. If I could just use my nephew's two-year-old as an example. Mm -hmm. When I communicate with that little boy, that little boy is far wise beyond his years until it frightens you and it makes me wonder if we had the same capabilities as children but because our parents did not have the knowledge and the skills because okay his mom is at home with him all the time she teaches him okay so he not only is able to give her back what she gives him. But this two-year-old has the ability to process what is being said to him. I am a very tricky person when it comes to questioning because I question in a way that I know that there is understanding. So when I'm questioning, I seek and I ask questions in a way where there's no yes and no. And that little boy, I, I, I remember a couple of weeks ago, just before we sat up here, he was looking up in the air and I said to him, you're looking at the plane. You want to go on the plane? So he said, yes. So instead of asking him, you want to go to a particular destination? I gave him three options, a two year old. I said, do you want to go to the U.S.? Do you want to go to Jamaica or do you want to go to Canada? And he said to me, I want to go to Jamaica. He's two years old. Why? Why do you want to go to Jamaica? Okay. Why does he want to go to Jamaica? Mm -hmm. He's two years old. He knows that he has family in Jamaica. Okay. So it tells you that at the age of two, he is already making decisions that 
I want to be with my family if I'm going. I don't know nobody in in Jamaica, I mean, in Canada, and I don't know nobody in the U.S. But most Bahamians would say, oh, he don't know. That was just a wild guess. Yeah, that's what they say, but... But these kids, trying to duck the when sun, you the sun interact with children as parents, and so we fail. But if we as adults can't communicate and cooperate with each other, is it any wonder that our children are lost and confused? See, the children... I only know what you teach me. They're a product of right. They're yeah. a product of their upbringing. And 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 what is what has happened? See, see, boy, communication and relationship and all this in one. I I, I always tell my sons. I always says my sons. Y'all two, it's a product of me. Mm-hmm. And they carry on your name. Yeah. And when I die, you you inherit. Whatever I have, but you and also carry on my name. Well, see, but you, you must protect me. Mm-hmm. But what is happening in the Bahamas? These kids are influenced by some other thing, some other person. Mm-hmm. I, I, I say teachers, TV, um, community, whatever, whatever. And they um, always, always and... pick the worst thing to go after. Like, like they would pick smoking dope. They will pick cussing. Thank God uh, your kids haven't done that. No, or they pick um. I put my foot in their mouth. Abuse. <laughs> so uh, and then you got and you got um, um rap music. The lyrics in the rap music is, you know, and sex, then, drugs, yeah, it, it, violence, it, 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 money. It, it, the influence on on these children. It's and, profound. And we, and we have to be careful. And we might wonder why certain race and certain type of some people some advance. Some type of religion and some right? type of, You wonder why they protect their children from certain things. And until, and that is what parents' responsibility that's, that, there is. Go, there you go. That's to what's guide and stare. And, and we lead. need to do more. So when there is a difference in value and belief between the parents, what happened? Breakdown. Breakdown. And, it, 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 it destroys the children. And, and, and it for, hinders and halts their progress towards success. Yeah. And if they do get back on the path, it's kind of late. Yeah. So, go on, go on, so go on. unity, mm-hmm. and then you now understand why certain religions preach not being unequally yoked. Yeah. And unequally yoked goes beyond just religious it, beliefs. It, it goes beyond. It goes beyond. It goes beyond religious beliefs. Yeah, it goes beyond. You, you know, you know, in 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 in, in the world today, mm-hmm. we 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 like to trouble in. You know, uh-huh. is the woman it's the, it's is the man to do? Is it this that? That's no. our default no. setting. No, what it is, if your ma wasn't being so no good, you see, see, I don't care what you say. I don't care. I'm at this point where people develop their own self. Now yes. that song weird, but yeah, yeah. But that's real. But then guess what? I can make my. But guess what? As you, I get you are right. Sense, yeah. You are right. You are correct, one hundred percent. We determine what it is we're we gonna go after, exactly. and that is why, as parents, we have to place our children in the environments that they will choose what is good. Yep, and we gotta give them the tools. So too often, I believe, we just drop children in the space and say, yeah, you, know, you, you get him a phone or you get him a zinc or you'll go, you figure it out. There is, go on, sorry, go on. Tamika says, says mm-hmm. yes. My mother told me that she only taught me what she was taught and knew which was very limited. Thank God I was wise in my younger years. Um, to make good moral decisions for myself. Exactly. That that's the point I make it. See, that is the point I make it. You de- after a while you develop you realize that, okay, this would be my mother taking this mm-hmm. fire you. Mm-hmm. So it goes back to this then. Where are we having all this negative 
coming from? Well, Tony, there are several things that we must remember. Just like how I said and used that two-year-old child mm -hmm. as an example, they process. And again, I could take another page out of his book and mm -hmm. say that his parents, both mother and father, flourish him with love. But there comes a time when, as a two-year-old, he wants to do what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, it is imperative that both of his parents steer him along the path that will be of benefit to him. And so, therefore... You will hear him kicking and screaming and crying because he wants to have his way. Now, many parents, when kids become 11 and older, mm -hmm. guess what happened? They're on their own path yeah. to their own personal identity. And so when they agree or disagree with their parents, the kids that agree, everything that the parents say, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, oh, they're a good child. But what is that child doing out of your presence? That is why when a child get locked up, the family say, oh, he was a good child. He's a this child. He's a that child. That's what he is when he's at home in the presence of his well, family. Well, most of women is be lying, though. I wouldn't say that. They're lying, mother's man. Come on. They, they, they got the Bible in one hand, but they lying. Don't mind. 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 Listen, you know your child. You might know everything about your child, but you know your child. Listen, somebody come to you and say, my son killed somebody. You mm -hmm. know what you can say? Mm -hmm. Not my good child. You can calculate. You can say. Mm -hmm. You might say, but let me suss this out. No, no, no. My son might sell the dope, mm -hmm. but he ain't gonna pull the trigger. Because mm -hmm. you know, you know, you walking up and down your house, you had to know your child was into something somewhere along the way. Because his body language, his tenor, his mouth, his hands, the way he speaks to you. Lots what, of things will begin to yeah, manifest. Yeah, it's that, you know when a woman, a girl, starts to be sexually active, if you're a parent. So, so the, the, well, well, guess what? Let's put it like this. Now mm -hmm. that you've said that, mm -hmm. if you are a present parent, mm -hmm. meaning that you interact with your children mm -hmm. on a regular basis. Yeah. And that might be the problem. But that may be How problem. many of us yeah. interact with our children? Well, How many of us know our children? Really, really know our children? But most, most parents try to interact with the children, but the children want to interact with them. Well, that's true. And the reason, the reason some, being, the reason cases. being because, let me tell you one of the reasons. Mm-hmm. And I can look in this camera and say one of the reasons, because what you parents are showing the kid, that you double double talk, mm -hmm. double standard, you know the, ch the children don't even respect you, even though you're the mother, because the kid doesn't know your way only falls to the ground. Because you say one thing and then you do the next. Mm. You speak Christianity, but you have the man sneaking house at night. You know what I'm talking about. I got to go deep in it. I can score some of you. <laughs> Let's get back to the values yeah. of it. So, 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 <laughs> double standards, definitely. Mm -hmm. If you're saying one thing and doing something else, then your mm -hmm. children are going to do what you do, not what you say. But see, but you see, in, 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 a, in, a, in a loving, setting, caring relationship, mm -hmm. even if in a relationship, in a relationship, what you display will fall to the ground. Let me explain. What it, what I explain in my relationship will fall to the kids. Oh, okay. Yeah, because, because if you you spawn, um, that's loving, your modeling. You're modeling. Yeah, you're, you you're giving the right that. example. When you kiss your significant other, you don't hide. Today. You kiss, honey. How you doing? Morning. How you guess? They see the love and the compassion. Mm -hmm. So they only grow with it, because that's all they know. You, kid, go take peanut butter out of the fridge and eat it. And you come and you smack him on the hand. The next day, the kid go take peanut butter smack him. Eventually, you know what can happen? Kid ain't going to take the peanut butter. Because, you know, every time he can get smacked. So, like learned behavior, you learn how to teach him how to be disciplined, how to be respectful. 
try to be loving. Teach them this. Don't just shout from where you're sitting because you're watching TV. <laughs> you know, you all go now. You know, you all, you all, you all get off. And Karen you know. say we must be in tune with our children. We must. If we have to appeal to the church or whomever, a yeah. relationship must be established. Right. And, and that is so. Now, let me tell you what is really lost, I believe, is the community. If we can get the community back protecting us. Comes right back to the values and beliefs. Yeah. Because. They have the support. Again, Can't talk about it. That's why yeah, I said that. Yeah. yeah. Because we've changed. We've evolved as a people. Our values are no longer what they were when we were kids and then in between us and our kids there's another generation because we late bloomers mm -hmm. and it's like but we we're gonna suffer see see in life everything got consequences right mm -hmm. and our children are suffering from what we do we failed to do we failed to do we mm -hmm. failed we failed to smack or discipline that pretty little girl oh you cute you know yeah yeah every time she do you and we see it a lot we yeah. see it a lot yeah. a lot you a lot no you ain't cute yeah you you little rude little thing you that's what you is you ain't cute but i think it have again to do with the way we communicate with children you know and forgive me but this is a reality and i take back my apology my advance apology Oftentimes, what we do is we impose our judgments yeah. on the innocence of children instead of us questioning and finding out why the child would we conclude why the child did. Yeah, we, 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 we pre conclude and we judge, and that's the same way we judge each other as adults. So, we do not give people the chance and the opportunity to grow and evolve and definitely everything is so negatively framed everything is so negatively framed but you know talking about that and i piggyback on what you say what i think is missing is this instead of us smacking the kid the minute we meet her taking the peanut butter out of the fridge, mm -hmm. the question should be, why did you go in the fridge? See, that has to be an, an total mm -hmm. education going on. So mm -hmm. the child mm -hmm. in her mind will really know why you smack her, mm -hmm. why this is happening. Too much time, we smack her and shut the fridge. So they don't learn nothing. So they go back to the same thing, do it again. But if we tell them, listen, and now, again, I'm looking out for your safety. I am also. No. And again, mm -hmm. just like Tamika said, What's Tamika said, Tamika said that her mother only could teach her what she herself has been taught. My dear sister Beryl is saying, Hi, sparing Beryl. the rod and spoiling our children. I agree with that, providing we do some teaching first sometimes before we even ask the child what are you doing why you know mm -hmm. we just go in like june of arc waving our rod and whipping left right and center so what's wrong with whipping there's nothing wrong but there's a time and a place for everything the question is the learning process this is how my mother do it and i think my mother was right i don't care what the professions come up with my mother used to say to me Boy, I'm whipping your backside. She give me an education. I'm whipping your backside because, because of X, X, Y, and Z. Z. So every time she smack me, she teach me a lesson. Okay. I don't want you to do this again. Wap. I don't want you going other people house and bars me. Wap. She said. So 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 it, it was a conversation. Even though the wap, the hit was going on. And now when we take away this this punishment from these children, there's no communication breakdown sometimes you just can't sometimes, talk you have to communicate with something else too you know but sometimes let right. me tell you 
the way that the punishment is applied really is not appropriate and therefore it's not effective in most cases in most cases it is it is effective and it's right you got the 10 percent by taking out the control most parents when they scold their children they scold their children right because they realize this i love this child Parents said it. Teaching comes first, though. Yeah. You see, let me tell you something. A lot of, I have two kids, okay? Mm-hmm. And their cousins would always say, Oh, Annie Melanie, you wouldn't beat them. Why am I beating them? I must first talk with them. Because guess what? When you beat children tell me. without a discussion, without an explanation, and for me, I might as well tell you, you see the traffic light on the road, you have the green light, you have the caution light, and you have the red light. Mm. When the red light comes, trust me, penalty applied. Mm -hmm. Green light is when you ask. Mm -hmm. Caution is when you do something wrong for the first time and you get a scolding and you get a warning. I all red light. And then Oh, I red light. Will you the first time? I read like Mm-mm. you do. No. Excuse me, you shouldn't do it. It, you it, do it. It, it depends. I ain't giving you a chance to get this. It depends. Caution. It depends. Caution, on what, with... No, it depends. It depends Caution? on what <laughs> the action is, as well as the results of that action. Spread because the spoil the child. Of course, Principal. if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. Principal. If the child does something that is deserving of punishment and guess what punishment is not always beating my daughter will tell you she 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 had at least two birthday treats that were planned and they were canceled because of her behavior and you know what they hurt more than any whipping well how much things you get away between them as a whole year now the point they come once a year how much things you get away between Mm -mm. there Mm -mm. Mm-mm. My Mm-mm. lesson here, Mm-mm. my mother threw a can, a cream but can. But people, let's beat their children. And the cream man. can used to turn the corner and find me. Bop! <laughs> it's talking crazy. It's talking crazy. God have mercy. What? Yeah. Parents say you must teach them. Tell them when teach. they are wrong while you are cutting their butt. Yeah, there you go. Beryl, I support you wholeheartedly. I salute you, Beryl. That's the way it should go. I will, I will teach them when they cut in their hip, because I am not gonna let. Beating is a deterrent, but then yeah. beating. But just you gotta use like it in the, right. Just like the professionals you use it in right. say, beating is handed on, and I could tell you, my mother will tell you the stories. Let me ask you of, a question. Hold on, no. Let me finish this one, and then you can ask me. Okay. My mother will tell you the story of how her brothers, not even her parents, her brothers would beat her just like and you know what my niece will come and tell you how my mother used to beat her as a child right mm-hmm. she come home and she expect you to be awake because she coming home from work and you have to get up and open the gate and help her bring the things inside if you miss and sleep and she come inside and you sleep and the beating wake you up but let me ask you a question she's a better child today right no she don't she don't know she don't know there better? are scars okay let me ask you a question. If I she t- is a good person, mind yeah, you, yeah, but, but yeah. those beatings, but and I'm you kidding. know what it does too, and this is probably why our kids get away with so much, because we felt the injustices of the way our parents raised us. Okay, yeah, but let me ask you a question. If, if you kill me, you shoot me with a gun, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, if you shoot me with a gun, and you go you go to court and they find you guilty for mm-hmm. shooting your gun and they hang you mm-hmm. right you know what happened yeah, but... you ain't no more to shoot somebody else right Who you that, mean? That, that's extreme that, 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 that's what don't no, tell me no. you can i can let you see tamika tamika said Tameka. i got beaten for things i didn't even do as all of us, and Tamika. I was not allowed to explain myself. But Tamika, 
Let me tell you what happened. You got beaten for something you didn't do. You didn't got beaten for something you didn't know. You got beaten because you let the person who did it and you you didn't correct them. <laughs> that's what the, that's what parents beat you for back in the day. They say I beaten you because you let Tony. You stand right there and let Tony do it. Break this thing. So I beaten you. So you will never and, let Tony and do again, it. Again. And again and again. That's how old people do it. And again, and again, what all people didn't understand uh -huh. was that there are phases of cognitive development. And while I am eight and my brother is four, do you really think as an eight-year-old, I could perceive the danger of my brother going and touching a figurine and letting it fall to the ground and break? No. Well, I teach you discipline. I teach Man, you how to pay that's attention. That's abuse. Uh, that's not abuse. It is. It oh, was. Oh, let, 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 and if it's practiced today, it's still. Let is. me set this ground rules here now. Hold on. Let me let me be honest. With you. Sadly, my parent, mm -hmm. my family mm -hmm. that I grew up with, mm -hmm. I grew up a single parent mother. Okay. Now watch this. Mm -hmm. My sisters, the older one, grew mm -hmm. me up. My mother worked. Mm -hmm. My sister, my older sister, grew me up. And the age difference between you and your sister? It probably ten years. I don't know. Okay. But but the point I'm making is this: my mother never tell you responsible, you know. She known that she was responsible, and she, my mother, taught me. To listen to the older child. Now, the mother tell me this. When I leave from here now, this one in charge, or when I leave from here, y'all be together. So back in the old days, that's what used to happen. The older child mm -hmm. used to be responsible. The older child get the punishment because my mother say, well, this young boy, he ain't know what he doing. He's just growing up. He's a child. Mm -hmm. And that's how it works in the community that I grew up in. And that's, I think, it should work. Mm -hmm. That's what's the problem, I believe, now. When mother go to work, or daddy go to work, and mother go to work, the older child go looking for the boyfriend or lock up in the room with the boyfriend. So the younger child just, just terrorize the house, break up everything. This is real where we live in. See, see, when you do not grow your family up and put responsibility on the older ones. So they learn responsibility when they're young. So when they grow up and have their own marriages and their own family, they have they know but responsibility already. That's what's wrong in our country. We we get too much modern stuff that takes our track. You know, we attract it too, so we don't we don't look at the things that we're supposed to be looking at. We all about we all about talking with stupid um Brickton or whatever the name, what the show's name on Greenleaf and the whole garbage. So we should be our young children, even now and even in schools now, the grades are getting bad. You know why the grades are getting bad? Why? Because the younger children are so interested in what's going on on the TV. Netflix and this, that, and a computer and Facebook and whatever. See, we we, 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 we got to try go back. I know people say that's old school, but we get some of the old school, we got to revisit them. I like visit the leader next to the next to the Oh, boy, they're having a ball. <laughs> that's abuse. <laughs> that's abuse. They, they should have seen us. They should have seen us. <laughs> two lizard, two lizard on the dress. Having, having a go and fighting at one another. But anyhow, like I say, and we need Melanie, you know, and we we talking about relationships, all type of relationships, all relationship in the family, relationship with one another. Um, even in two, in, in marriages, the kids see the weakness in the husband and wife relationship and they take advantage of that too. See that, they play us. You know, husband and wife, they play each other. Oh, well, I know mommy, mommy ain't gonna speak to daddy today, so mommy ain't speaking to daddy. So, well, kids do study their going. parents, yeah. and they do the power play, they do the power play. Yeah, daddy's right? not gonna be home, so I could. So, 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 mm -hmm. you know, in bringing this to a 
little conclusive package. Mm. It is important that the parents be on the same page. Now, it is almost impossible for us to be on the same yeah, page tell, tell at the same yeah, time. You need to tell Christ about that. No, 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 no. Christ give us, God created us perfect beings with the ability to think and to reason. Okay? But what we must do is we must be prepared to put our own personal feelings and beliefs and values to bed or to rest. And if we can't put them to rest, then we must bring them to the forefront and discuss them in a way that it does not negatively influence the children towards one parent or the other. But we try to discuss it. They do put the children involved. Okay, no, 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 no. There, 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 there is no need for involving the children. If it's a matter concerning the children, as parents, we go aside well, and we have our discussion. Well, even So in... that the disagreement will... And then too, you know, the problem is this. This, listen, now, this is my child. Listen to this. Remember your old woman, this is my no, child. No, but now. listen to this though. Listen. Look at the features of our senses. How many pieces do we have to hear from? Two. Yes, two. How many do we have to see from? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. How many do we have to smell from? I say one. You say yeah, two, two entrances, <laughs> right? But we only have one mouth, and in that one mouth, there is one tongue. And that's powerful. That okay? tongue, that tongue could beat you so bad you don't believe it. And so, therefore, what do we need to do? But listen more. Thank you. Yeah. But see, but let, let me show you something about. And we have to give way to Bahamian, the other person. Let me show you something about Bahamian people. Mm. Bahamian people, they don't really listen, you know. No, we don't. No. The, the Bahamian people somehow know so much, right? Yeah, we experts in everything. Yeah. And I I, I, got, I, got, I got to deal with this right now. I want to deal with this right now. We know so much, right? That um, we somehow, before we listen, we don't have the answer or defense. Guilty. Yeah. I'm not totally guilty. I know for me, I have this um, tendency to preempt what the other person is going to say. And that is not good because I can't get in your head. I don't know what you are about to say. So I need to learn to listen, calm down, slow down, give the person the opportunity to listen. And when they're finished, you ask, are you done? May I speak now? See, the question Some of is, us are quick the, thinkers. The question is, I put out there, am I listening mm -hmm. to understand or Am I listening to defend? Mm. And oftentimes we listen to defend, right? <laughs> listen yeah. to the, they, 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 but then too, they, they the listen. other question could also be, am mm. I speaking to judge, condemn, or correct, or am I speaking to make you aware? Yeah. Most times, they are listening to defend. And we're speaking also to yeah. judge, so, yeah. condemn. And judge, yeah. And so what happens and in, blame. What happens more in a marriage or relationship mm -hmm. that woman expects, I know I knock and woman is talking through here. Go ahead. Woman has a tendency to throw it out there. Throw it where? Throw it whatever it is out there. They throw it. Oh, where? To the man? Yeah. Throw mm -hmm. it out, judge you. Mm -hmm. To sting you. That's that's that that's not all women. That's Major an immature Ma no, 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 no. man and woman. Majority of women, they do that. See a man, a woman woman say a man say, but that's your children. That's what man does. And then what the woman say in response? A woman say, Yes, yeah, mine. I bring him in the world. I got a pain for them. So the woman get a the whole story. She she done on the fence. 
Wow. So she don't she don't give you the, the no. she don't give you the shared responsibility. No. She she letting you know these my children they come from me. And she and she give the whole story. I could see the woman saying that when she's talking to a partner who is not the father of her children. No, no. But to say if that me, to the father of her children. If me okay. they has kids let, let me give you an example. I gotta give them examples. If me and you having an argument based on something that this, the child did. There's something the child did. Mm -hmm. After the woman get enough, when, when, when you can she, she can start off well with you. Mm -hmm. But after you if you started like and I don't she can start like, um yeah, but you can leave her. Yeah, you didn't gotta say nothing to her because you know she 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 little brassy. They tell you she little brassy you just leave it. Then you say, but no, she can't be she disrespectful me. She go well well well, I ain't saying no more to that. Then you say, but you need to say some more. You know the next thing she can say? Mm -hmm. Remember now, that's my child. That's where she going. And then when she go from there, you know the next thing she can tell you? Well, you could, like, just leave it to me. Problem never get resolved. That's the love kick in. The woman love for her child kick in. And that is not right. No, it's not right. So what she's telling you, what she's actually telling you, let's kill that right there. So we never get solution. And you know, we never get sometimes, solution. sometimes it's necessary to kill a situation. Not when you leave me unhappy now. So now, when I go to the bar to drink my collect and come back, that's still on my mind. Hell break loose now because I bring that back with me. So you know what that says, right? Conflict resolution is a big problem in relationships. Always. It, 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 always in the love. And how do we get past it? You, Maybe we need to look at that as for our next topic. Only, because... one, only one way you can get past it. Mm -hmm. One way. Learn to forgive. forgive no, you have forgive. to learn to communicate effectively. No, no, no. If you continue arguing about something, Listen. To, you got to learn to say stop and say, you know what? I forgive you. Whatever you but done then there are sometimes move on. you see forgiveness to me in mm -hmm. that kind of a situation mm -hmm. is a cop out because the problem remains unresolved and it lies dormant until the next argument. Yeah, but see, if you learn to forgive and and forget, see, you just can't forgive. It you depends on the nature of the issue. Because women don't like to forget. It depends on the nature of the issue because here it is now. It comes right back to what you spoke to earlier. Mm -hmm. If every on, time, Barry, help me out. if every time there is a issue with the child and the woman supersedes the man and the problem becomes unaddressed, you see, it is showing a level of disrespect to the other party, mm -hmm. whether it's the man or the woman and then the child gets the notion that i could do anything because my mommy is gonna protect me or my daddy is gonna protect me well, well in homes so, it's always side taking that that and, and most and that, that, that is, yeah, that, that's that what is, that's what they do in homes that is ineffective parenting ineffective communication and that's why so many homes are in turmoil yeah. we have to learn how to communicate communication is the key to conflict resolution communicate is the key to everything but you know what it takes to communicate what patience yeah listening mm -hmm. remember we talk Don't about say, the yeah. organs right a lot of people ain't got that in them and we have not learned it see because i can say i could sit here and say melanie I can listen to you. And you know, Melody, I don't have to listen to you, right? I can play a tent every year, but I don't block. Because your voice, the minute it starts, it sounds like a winding type of thing. I don't block you a long time. I don't hear. Even you start off good with me. Is there any hope? <laughs> People, there's hope. There's is hope. there any hope? <laughs> I hope there ain't nobody else there. But hope, hope for relationships. Conflict resolution. Well, this How is... do we do it? How do we get it right? Well... Like I say, values we, and beliefs. Like I say, we bring in our show to a close, mm -hmm. and um, relationship ain't easy. Relationship with God ain't easy. Relation that's the easiest no, relationship no, no. there is. Well, that's the easiest no. relationship that's one of the in the world. 
No. That's one of the hardest no, relationships. No, it's not. So why everybody backsliding? Why everybody backsliding? Mm. Because we're backsliding according to man's standard and not according to God's standard. We don't know what God's standards are. Let me let me ask you a question. In the Bible, where where it say man have one woman? You see that in the Bible? Mm-mm. You never see it in the Bible? Eh? Mm-mm. Oh. So when you... Except it say the two shall become one flesh. Yeah, okay. We could come one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then you say, I can't bring another one. And then you and her become one. one yeah. So you be one with, many, her, many one, one with her and one with her and one with her and one with her. Cycle the <laughs> no, no, series no. of ones. Holy. No, tell Christ. I can tell Christ. And they all ones. But listen. And go back to, uh, like we can close. That's another day, another topic. But, um, you know, in the Bahamas, we we sit under this tree on um, Sunday, 3 mm-hmm. o'clock, mm-hmm. trying to help take on topics what is um, challenging sometimes and take, take, take on topics. We try or to of interest. Of interest and bait it. So you can't deny the people what they ask and you so, to discuss. Yeah, and I only do discussion that what people ask me to. Mm-hmm. I won't do... I will do some hardcore ones, you know, them was he. Now, Tony. Hold on, wait, wait. Let me not finish this. Let me finish this. I understand. And you could say to save that. Mm-hmm. But the folks today, like Beryl and, and um, Tamika. Tamika and Karen and this, that, mm-hmm. all the old folks who hit us up. If you have a, if you have a topic, a topic that you want me to take on, um, not a problem. Just hit us up. You don't have to put it on Facebook where everybody else can see it. Yeah. Tamika, Beryl. Karen, I'm not sure if Tony or, or me, which one of us um, you have contact with. Yeah. Just, but just, um, just, PM us if anything. Yeah, you can Facebook. put it on. If you're, if you're bold enough to put it on any, we take on anything. PM, PM, personal message via Facebook because you can do that where it's yeah. private. But you can do it open too. Um, you can do whatever you want. I don't It care. depends on wh- how you feel. Whatever discussion you want, mm-hmm. we'll take it on. But now, Tony, mm-hmm. you said that and I want our audience to know that you've been shying away from a topic that Peter Gay asked you to discuss. What because it? you said that most people you talk to don't want to hear nothing about religion. But Peter Gay wanted to find out why the double standards in the Christian society that pushes people away rather than draw them to each other and to establish what you would call a united community where people judge you they look at you if you don't come to church they think you're in a christian no more when you come to church you got to dress a certain way and if you're in dress the way they still think you're a christian i mean you're a sinner and the judgments just continue to pour in from left right and center it's simple because we we put this this picture of how a christian should look like there's no but as she said, it's not biblically grounded. And so why are people taking their own personal perception and making it like it in the Bible? The only thing that was written in stone in the Bible was the Ten Commandments. Yeah, but Jesus came and, and left. Jesus never changed anything. That no, was, right. That he he changed and he left, right? All he came to do was highlight the errors. And he gone, right? And to point us back to the right way. Okay. So he, there... So there's what you're saying is only one way. There is only one way. I'm asking you. He said so. Okay. So there's only and, one way. And then the thing about so, it is, he, see, that could bring us into the discussion about the Bible and how it was written and who wrote it and who changed well, what and well, the list goes that on. That is on why I didn't take it on because when I get in the history of the Bible, how is, is this, the Bible was made. How it was written, how it was translated. How it was, translated. How it was commissioned yes. to be translated. Because when I go deep like that. Who commissioned it to be right. translated? See, and when how I go does deep, it line up with the original work? There. And then when I say it's too homosexual, did it? And then I tell you King James and how the queen made it. it changed the language. The queen mm-hmm. made it the language. See, when I go deep into that like that, and you go right into the, the black but you know the Jesus thing about it. The prickly, and I go into the deep stuff. Mm-hmm. People then will say to you, 
your story is wrong. But it's not wrong. I know it's not. I can be wrong and I, I, I'm a, I'm a walking But you story. see what happened, and that is where the values and beliefs come in and the relationships and stuff. Because we accept part of the story as the whole truth mm. and nothing but the truth. And we don't want to hear anything that deviates from what we have already accepted as truth. Well, let me, and that's the problem. Well, let me tell you what is wrong. Let me tell you what some of the things is wrong. I guess I'm highlighted. Then we go... Why is your pastor in your church every Sunday preaching, teaching, praying, this and that? Why are you doing all that? I don't know. I don't you know, know why? Sunday, Let me tell you why. Because the ma majority of them ain't following what the Bible say. Because what they're doing is what we call showboating, right? Because the Bible say there's pastors, there's preachers, there's elders, there's what? There's a whole... Apostles, right. bishops, okay. deacons. So the pastor preach the word. The elders do the counseling. Everybody got a role to play. So why mm -hmm. the pastor be the one do the... I mean, and see, when you talk about things are not going not right that's what they're talking about we see, better we better take this on yeah uh, and uh, satisfy uh, our viewers requests mm. so that because right now we over time yeah right and so, you ready to roll like it's oh that. yeah folks this this is a deep this is what you want me to take on that i try not to take it on because yeah but we if have, you're going if, deep if, into if it if we are inviting so our many viewers to recommend topics when mm. they bring it up Regardless of what the masses we'll take it on next week. We need to take it on. We'll take we'll take it on next week. Yeah. We'll take it on next week. On a, if not, and the rest of our viewers are not gonna send anything because they say, Well, Peter Gabe been asking for this topic for what three weeks ago okay. she asked yeah. us. We didn't take it on. There's consequences for everybody action. That's what you want here, right? Eh? What 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 she was wanting I know to what know, she want. I know okay. what she want to know. But basically, consequences is one of the things. It's yeah. like the choices that we make. And I think what really matters to her is the dogmatic way in which leaders of the church, members of the church, just punks on each other, judging them for whatever, where nobody knows what the real truth is. Is we they, all only go by they, what was documented. They, they judge you from if you don't come to church, they ain't see you for a couple so, of days. So you, you know, know the burden you slide, right? it it really it well, we really take pushes people. Folks, and then others will say, Oh, don't let nobody come between you and God. Yeah. But still, when I come in your presence, you wanna tell me what you saying is right and what the people over there saying is wrong. You pressuring me yourself. Yeah, and then then I the, don't have the freedom to decide what aspects I am gonna accept as truth, but why do you have and whether I am gonna reject all or not? Before we go answer this question, why do we have all this different religion? Because you, you of so know? many opinions, uh, we have so many opinions. Because everybody knows about their way is the right way, mm -hmm. and this way. Mm -hmm. So the the, the 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 real problem is not the religion; the real problem is the people. <laughs> See, so folks, when I take this on, and, the, and they people... really, 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 I could tell you in my journey from childhood, when mm -hmm. I was a young child in the Baptist church, I used to feel like God was this tyrant standing. Oh, over, yeah, he got the whip. Just waiting oh, yeah, for yeah, you yeah, to yeah. make a mistake. Whap, like yeah. with a fly swat, you know? God, God would school you because they. Then the I, story became, in the church, I, right? came, I came across the story of redemption and how god sent all these prophets until jesus came but then there were no prophets sent after jesus right mm -hmm. there are some people adventists believe in the prophetess ellen white yeah then the muslims believe in the prophet muhammad and we just clash and knock one another over the head with our religious swats and it just leave, and that's one of the confusions the last too, thing. that cause yeah, our children, you know, yeah, I know, to be don't, don't the way to they are yeah. today. Don't believe in the Lord; they won't be. But well, let me ask this question: You don't finish when you finish with Amiga. Amiga say we only live in by faith at this point, and you're right. Yeah, and so, our faith must be based on some level of facts, 
And then there are things that we will never understand that, again, faith is the only yeah. answer. Yeah, but what, let me ask you a question. Mm. What, how do you know you're a Christian? I don't know that I am a Christian. You don't know that? Mm -mm. Okay, but what makes you a Christian? Uh -huh. If I don't know that what you I'm a Christian, do? I have to be a Christian. <laughs> so, 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 I am so, a person. Let me, let me tell you, I you believe in God. No, let me tell you, be a Christian. And I believe in his messengers. No, let me tell you how I'll be a Christian in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. You got to walk into the church and stand in front of the pastor. Mm -hmm. And he got to pray over you. And mm -hmm. now you become a Christian. Oh, okay. That's the way it works. Mm. It didn't matter if you just come from the disco. It didn't matter just smoke some see, You see, it don't you, matter. You Once see, the you pastor see, pray for you and he's then you Christian. You see, the word <laughs> the word Christian evolved from Let me stop. followers of Christ. Okay? But who did Christ follow? He followed Christ? Who did Christ follow? He followed Christ followed the wind. I mean, I mean. <laughs> who did Christ follow? <laughs> Next week, people, who did Christ follow? He followed the wind. We will talk about it. He followed. See, folks, listen. This is a... Uh, see, when when you take on Christianity, there's something... Let me tell you, when you take on Christianity, there's everybody have their own view and their own opinion and this one and that. Listen, I believe the only thing I got to do, me, Tony Williams, not listen to Melly, nobody. The only thing I got to do is go in front of God and ask for forgiveness. But my Christian family tell me, God don't hear Christian sinners, sinners prayer. Pray. So how do I? <laughs> this is <laughs> they say that written in the Bible too. So so now you see how deep this could get. That's why I say, but she want me to take this on. We so, have to we have to honor the request. Yeah, I go, uh, easy. I've been ducking it because some people say you become you have delivered. And, you know, and when you be delivered, you got Yeah, only some nice words. But there's certain rules the Bible tell you in a certain way how you become so what we need to do next week we can take it on. And then the question is whether do you have to be a Christian? It is. Yeah. Do you have to be a Christian? You you don't might have to be a Christian, but I believe, and I say it, once you believe in God Jesus Christ, that's it, <laughs> folks. That's it. Once you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, that's it. So we're gonna talk next have week. A, we're gonna honor a, um, Peter Gay's request. Yeah. And as always, you know, we just like to remind you, COVID is still with us. People are still dying. The hospital is full. The new strains are coming. I think they're, people even, dying. they're talking about a third wave yeah, now. People dying, people can die. And then there are people that are taking vaccines. And there are people who are running away from vaccines. Take your vaccine. Okay. And I think there is a divide here. Take. Let, let, let me tell you why. Between. Let, let, let me, let me say this to you. It's 50%. Lightning bolt running between two. It might be a lightning bolt. It's fifty percent. All of this talk about vaccine and this stuff. I am convinced. It's cheaper just to take it. Cause there's everybody who criticize everything you do. And I think it's cheaper not to take it because people can tell you anything they feel like telling you. But she's a spiritual tinker. As a what? Conspiracy tinker. <laughs> I, I am simply principle. If 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 it's if it's been tested, it's been proven. Three hundred million people take it, and the truth and two people is being got told. The, the, the argument is this: it's better to be safe than sorry. That's and the argument believe. is this: if you can die, you can die anyhow. Well, I can die anyhow, so don't matter. It but matters. I die. The choice is yours. At least, you choose whether at least you want to die one way or the other, and we don't know how we're gonna die. At least I be none long, of us know. At least I might be a little longer on earth to take care of my. And I or... believe just how some people had COVID and survived, and others died. It's the same thing with the vaccine. Some will take it and they will survive. Others will take it and they will die. But I... so it is a matter like religion, like. 
religion, it's a matter of choice. But I, you I choose just... whether you want to take it or whether you don't want to. But you also choose to be safe. Practice the social distancing. Practice good hygiene. Practice wearing your mask when in public places. And when... See, I, I, can, I can say this to you all in contact of you, uh, when there were chicken pops around back in the day in Montanese, when they couldn't understand it, they studied and they come up with a vaccine at that time to control it. It worked. It worked. It, was, it might have taken a little while to get it, but they get it right. They eventually get it right and it saved a lot of people. It's the same thing. This is a new era. Same thing is happening again. This is a VAT, I mean, the, um, 19, VAT, whatever. So now it's the same thing. You develop a vaccine for it. The vaccine might not be working as yet, but oh, it's getting developed. It's the same thing. See, we have to we have to keep up with the times. We can't just live in the woods and say, throw our hands up, we got to try something. And that's my five cents. And we and end on that. that. We will... <laughs> I Pat love you all for coming on spend Tony's Sunday. Word. We, I love you all for coming on on Sunday and enjoying and sitting spending with us. this time with us we, under the tree. We appreciate you. We still under the tree as hard as it is, Melanie. And this week, I, I, I like for you to go out and love somebody. Just go and tell somebody you love them. Before doing so, make sure there is self love. Well. I agree with her. I can disagree with her. I agree with her. But if you can give, be, be a loving, passionate, and caring this week, try your best. The Bahamas needs a more passion and soft the people. The world, now. indeed. Well, I only live in, I live in the Bahamas. I can talk about Bahamas. But what happens in the Bahamas flows through. But love, what happens from other places flows in. Yeah. It's a two-way symbiotic Love connection. Love is the key. Love is passionate and love sometimes can be selfish. But without love, there will be no babies. Without love, there will be Thanks to me, no God. happiness. <laughs> without love, there will be we wouldn't be here to spread it with you. So take care, everybody. So you'll have a great weekend. And I hope you enjoy it next week. Uh, same place. A great new week because the weekend ends yeah. today. <laughs> like I say like this, don't bring your quote, don't bring Corona home. <clears throat> Keep it in the bush. Wash your hands. Just wash, wash, wash. Keep it in. I got a song, man, but I, I can sing it one day. I, I got to make it a song. Don't bring it home to mama. Keep it in the bush. Just wash your hands. And wash, wash, keep your face, keep your Wash distance. your hand, keep your distance, yep. wear your mask. There you go. Stay happy, stay right. healthy. See you next week. Same God time, bless. same place, under the tree.